this is DJ again. In this episode, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what to expect from this show as it progresses, both the good and the bad. It's always good to go into a situation with as much information as you can and to know whether it suits your needs or not. Obviously, there are a lot of military podcasts and military YouTube channels on the internet, and my intent is to be a little different from all of those so that you have this one unique you know, attribute about me and my show that makes you want to come back. The one thing I've noticed about many of these other channels and podcasts is they tend to speak as if you know what they're talking about. They speak in acronyms, they speak in legalistic jargon, and it can be very confusing at times. So, I plan to be a little different than that. I, as I've said before, plan to speak in normal, plain English, and to explain all the acronyms that are out there so that you can understand them if you haven't heard them before. I'm going to adequately explain every concept that I present to you, and if I don't, then I will either fix it in, an, in a, uh, an editing of the original video or I'll produce a new one to better explain where I may have failed before. Since I work in this field every day, I'm going to bring you relevant examples from my own experience in order to help you see uh, how retirees get along with the info they have or don't have and you can learn from those experiences and make better decisions yourself. Again, like many or unlike many of the podcasters and YouTubers that you'll find, I'm not going to just post a speech or a presentation that I give and not be available for comment afterwards. Of course, I might use a presentation that I give in another venue to present to you as well, but of course, I will be here to answer questions that may result from that. So you might be thinking, okay, so you're a little different. What's the so what factor? Why should I listen to you? Well, I hope to make that pretty simple. The topics I'm going to cover in this podcast and all the videos that I present will not just be about retirement, especially if you're in the younger age demographic, you might think, I'm 20 years old. Why should I think about retirement? That's eons away. Well, I'm also going to talk about the other service-related benefits that are available to you and help you to better understand how to use those. This is one of the many reasons why I'm starting this series. Many of the benefits out there require that you have time to make the best use of them. Let's just say the thrift savings plan, for example, an investment plan. Well, you need time for that to work for you. One of the biggest complaints I've received from other training I've conducted is essentially a quote. Here it is. I wish I had known this information 20 years ago so I could put it to good use. I've heard that many times from senior officers and senior non-commissioned officers who say that the information or part of the information I presented was very valuable, but it would have been more valuable had they known about it in the past so they could utilize it themselves. Much of the information that you'll get from me is useful after leaving the military if you know it exists. So there's another factor in my favor. And again, it will be in plain English so that you don't have to worry about misunderstanding it later. It's always better to learn and actually understand your military benefits so you won't become the victim of rumor mills, scam artists, and other misinformation that might be out there. A good example of that would be the new retirement plan coming out next year. There is reams of information on the internet about it and I'd say about 90% of it is incorrect. So where can you go to get the real scoop on these things? hopefully right here. Here's an idea of what you can expect from this podcast and YouTube series as it progresses. You're going to learn a great deal of information 
which will improve your knowledge and your use of existing military benefits as well as understanding and maximizing your future military benefits and your military retirement if you serve long enough to earn a retirement. Even if you don't serve long enough to qualify for retirement, you will know how to best make use of the benefits that you are able to take with you. Everything that you've earned, you will know how to use in the future. Every topic that I explain will be explained to the best of my knowledge or for the topics on which I might not be the best person to talk about them, I will find someone who can. So there will occasionally be guest speakers on the show, but they will be here because they are the best people available to explain your benefits and how to make use of them. The podcast and YouTube videos or episodes that I produce each week will be on the same topics. So if you're looking for a YouTube video on topic A, you'll find that every week. If you're more the audio listener, then you'll find a podcast episode on that. And if you're more of the written uh, learner, then there will most of the time at least be written articles about those topics for your use as well. So hopefully those tools will help everyone out there make best use of their particular learning style and be able to benefit from this series. Now, here's a thing or several things that you should not expect from this series. Um, like I said before, you're not going to hear a lot of acronyms and a lot of legalistic talk here. If you do, those those bits of lingo and those acronyms will have been fully explained to the point that you'll be comfortable hearing them. Another example, as I've said before, the survivor benefit plan. That's a big topic for me. So most of the time I'll probably spell it out and say survivor benefit plan, but I may occasionally say SBP as well. But by then, of course, you'll be fully aware of what it means and it won't sound like someone speaking another language. Another point, there will be no politics on this show. Uh, politics is a great thing for you know, around a, a beer stein, but it is not the, the point and the place, or rather a military oriented program is not the place for political talk. We should be a lot more professional than that and avoid such talk you know, in this atmosphere. So you're not going to hear me talk politics, no matter what my opinion may be. Um, obviously, I might occasionally mess up, but you know, for the 99% of the show that you see, there will be no uh, politics of any, to any sort. You will, all right, on occasion, hear my opinion about topics. But those will typically have been requested. I'm going to attempt at least to avoid any insertion of my opinion into this show. I'm going to give you facts and nothing but the facts. You know, to, re to uh, quote an old television series, it will be just the facts, ma'am, and nothing more. As I mentioned earlier, if I am not the best person to talk about a topic, I will not talk about it. I, in several areas, know enough to answer basic questions, but I'm not the expert. In those situations, I will bring you the expert who can best describe the topic and help you understand it. So, a few things you should know about me. If you haven't seen any of my other episodes or heard any of my other episodes, I have to keep saying that because I'm going to cross post this video as a podcast episode on my website. So if it sounds weird for me to keep saying YouTube or podcast, that's the reason. So some things you should know about me. I'm a retirement service officer with over seven years direct experience in the field. You can find more information about my experience on my website, rcretirement.com. Prior to being assigned to this position, I held several other positions which were related to retirement. 
for example, I was a battalion career counselor and a unit retirement counselor, both of which directly influenced my ability and my selection for this particular position. All of those were greatly beneficial when I came to this job, and they will help you out here. I've been told that occasionally I can speak over people's heads, and I will admit that a habit of mine is to assume that when I'm speaking to somebody that they know as much as I know when I'm describing it. To the best of my ability, I'm going to refrain from that habit. I'm going to approach each topic as if you know nothing about it and try to explain it from the simplest concepts to the most complex. So hopefully that way everyone will be able to benefit the most from this recording. As you can see though, I'm not a very theatrical speaker. I don't wave my hands around a lot. I don't you know, make a lot of jokes in my presentations. I can do that. I am uh, much more theatrical in a sense when I'm speaking to a live audience. You know, I'll throw in little quips and little jokes here and there. I'll try to remember to do that here so it's not just some monotone person speaking in a dry manner about a very dry topic if you do it the wrong way. So I'm going to try to be as upbeat and entertaining as well as informative for every presentation that I do. Please uh, stick with me. Please uh, help me out in that regard. Any comments you make will be greatly appreciated. In that regard, I am very receptive to constructive criticism. If you have a suggestion which can improve my efforts here, then please do not hesitate to provide them either in the comments section or by email. That's it for my introduction. Nice, short, and sweet. I hope this has been sufficient to pique your interest in my show. Please join me for future episodes. And if you would like to know what's in store for some of those future episodes, please check the Future Topics section of my website. That website, once again, is rcretirement.com. That's RomeoCharlieRetirement.com. A little phonetic alphabet there for those who aren't aware of it. And if you don't know the phonetic alphabet, I'll even post that on my site for you spouses and family members out there who might not know it. The phonetic alphabet is a great way to express letters without doing the dry and very time-consuming A is in apple, B is in boy sort of thing. It's a lot easier to say alpha or bravo than all of that other stuff. So if you enjoyed what you heard on this episode, Please give it a thumbs up on YouTube or some positive comments in the comments section below. Also, if you're listening to the podcast, share this podcast on your social media of choice. Future episodes will be available each week on iTunes, iTunes and YouTube. Please take a moment to subscribe to this channel and to this podcast. And one last bit, please remember that my website, RC Retirement, is not recognized or endorsed by any Department of Defense agency, by the Department of Veterans Affairs, or any other government agency out there, and for legal reasons we have to say is for informational and inter entertainment purposes only. The content on this show should be considered or should not be considered professional advice or, or financial advice for that matter. While I'm going to make every attempt to deliver up-to-date and accurate information, of course, I recommend that you take that information and consult with your attorney and your financial counselor before you make decisions upon that information. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate you being here, and I look forward to hearing from you and having you see the future episodes and benefit from them greatly. Have a great day.